Welcome to the It's All Fine and Danji podcast, where hosts Dan and Angie talk with creatives, small business owners, charities, and all kinds of interesting people. It's all real talk. It's all fine and dangy. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. We are back. We had a, another little hiatus. We've Holy. been doing that from time to time here lately. We're off of our kind of our, our groove, our schedule, but you it's know, okay. It's okay. We're going to get back on it. I, we said for so long we weren't going to do that. And I was thinking the only time I can remember where we kind of went offline for a while is when I had emergency surgery and we were like, yeah, kind of recoiling from that. But yeah, we've, uh, you know, we say we're not going to do it and then we skip a week or two here. This is like new records for us, but you know, we, we got, we, the show will go on, and we've got big plans for what we're going to do when we get up to North Carolina, yeah. but we're going to have to make it squeeze it in here and there wherever we can. So that's what we're doing here. That's right. So if anybody has seen the um, little thumbnail for our show this week, <laughs> it's super cute. Um, I do want to let you know that that is a product of AI. Yes. Yeah. So Dan tinkered with it a little bit. We came up with... A funny little um, play on movie words. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. What, what was it like? Planes, dogs, and automobiles. That's what it was. It was your idea. Yeah, yeah. But for those um, of you that aren't familiar, it's called Doll E D A L L dash E. But it's an image generator that you know. In part, now Microsoft is part of it. But uh, I mean, that's a good segue into why we had a delay because yeah. I. Uh, Sort of, not spur of the moment, but the week before, uh, my boss invited me to the Microsoft uh, AI uh, conference up in Toronto. So yeah. I uh, I had to hop on a plane and automobiles. Wait, and let's go back else. a minute. Yep. So we called this planes, dogs, and automobiles for a reason. Yes. Okay, because Dan was traveling. Planes and automobiles, country, that's right. right. Yep. Well, the automobile part, though came because he did a lot of automobile traveling, not just in Ubers. Oh, yeah. But oh, I forgot about that. He had thrown away his passport. It was expired, but he threw it away. Don't so he do had that. to start from scratch. <laughs> You're not supposed to throw them away. Pro tip, don't, don't tell him you throw it away if you threw it away. <laughs> <Right>. Okay. <laughs> Even a... if you shredded it, it doesn't matter. Don't yes. tell him that. And uh, if you work for the federal government, I did not do any of that. We're just saying don't do it. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he had to drive all the way to Miami yes. for like. I guess they'll do it like emergency ones for if you're traveling oh. for work, but you have to prove that you're traveling for work, oh. that you've bought your flight already. That's the scariest thing. You literally have to buy your ticket. You have to go to the you know the airline website or your travel agent website or whatever, book your flight, not even knowing if you're going to be able to go because you don't have a passport. And you know it'll say, "Do you have your passport?" And you're like, "Yes." And then you <laughs> bring that to the passport office to show them. But you also, Angie, you have to make an appointment. Uh-huh. If you even get an appointment, I mean, it's just it. But the the craziest thing was it was a 4-hour trip according to GPS. And those of you that go to Miami probably know how naive I was, but I said, <laughs> "Okay, 4 <laughs> hours. Well, I'm going to be overly prepared." So I left 5 hours and 15 <laughs> minutes early. That's an hour and 15 minutes. It took me 6 and a half hours to get there due to traffic and accidents and rain and Yeah. When I walked in the office, you know, they the the passport office, I thought, "Well, you know, they already told me not to be late." But as soon as I walked in, they go, "Oh yeah, everybody's late today. You're fine." So yeah. thank God, but and whole you had, day. the thing is, there was probably like, oh, well, why isn't there other offices? There is, but not ones that do the last minute, same day That's right. passports. There's one so. in each state. And I, you know, there's another one in Georgia that was actually a little further away, but I think you have to go to the one in the state you're getting I it from so anyway. Too. But that's a good thing to know for people that are like in an emergency situation where maybe they have to get out of the country or, you know, maybe their family members live in another country and they, something's happened and they got to get there yeah you know so yeah, yeah. it's good to know that because i absolutely never knew that yeah so. it was it was pretty crazy but you but, had a lot of driving a lot of flying uh, a lot of <laughs> it, you but to travel. drive you know it took me five almost five hours to get back and then all those hours there to have that driving the day before you fly to canada not that it's the longest flight ever but it was just a lot and then ubers and everything well but then you flew to canada you had a meeting one day and you got after the meeting didn't you drive like an hour and a half or something to another no no town? no 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 we, train? we you took do? uh we we uh a friend of ours that you know one of our colleagues lives out there so he drove us i don't think i oh. even ever told you this no, yeah you didn't i thought you but, took like an uber or a train 
train or something. No, we were going to take the train, but uh, one of our colleagues there was like, yeah, I'll just drive you. But even st- even still, it took over an hour to get, about an hour and 10 minutes to get from, the, this is boring details, guys, but to get from the Microsoft place to the parking garage where somebody else had a car rented to the hotel. You know, it's like typical business yeah. travel, but it was just no fun. But, yeah. you know, what's kind of interesting is, the, and it really wasn't that, you know, the, the, the fun thing about the ride is that we hadn't seen some of these people in a long time. So that part of it was cool. But the, the conference I went to was about AI, artificial intelligence. Microsoft is launching it. We got kind of the sneak peek on some of the stuff. We're going to get our hands on some of the stuff. And some of it, I think, might be under a non-disclosure. But I will say this. The tools that are about to come out for Microsoft products, for those of us that do these video calls during the day, you're going to be blown away. I mean, you can literally, if you missed a meeting, you can punch up a search and say, hey, was I tasked with anything during that meeting? And it'll transcribe the whole meeting, search all the data, come back and make tasks for you and tell you who assigned them to. I mean, it's just, it's going to be crazy, that crazy, is crazy. Cool. I mean, yeah. I'm kind of blown away just with the graphics that it makes when you, is the more detailed you can put in there, the better the graphic becomes. And it com- it gives you just different options. And you can try some more and try some more. I yeah. mean, it's, it's really very interesting. But I, I tend to time the dog sitting yes, or the people do. ask me to do the dog sitting. And it's like you're always traveling or getting back from travel. Yep. And then I'm leaving to do the that dog sitting. That part was a bummer, yeah. So I only had a few days this time, though. But, yeah, so that's why we called this episode what we did because Dan was traveling and I was I did a lot of driving too though because when I do dog sitting I still have to work my full time job Yeah. so I'm driving to work and I'm driving to let him out and I'm driving to work and I'm driving to let him out and just so you know I have a few more of those before we move to North Carolina so I'm sorry in advance <laughs> that's okay That well you know I do have another business trip too I'm going to Vegas in November for a tech conference this is how mama earns her side money yeah. you do it with your techie stuff this is how I do it okay? that's right that's right but we're I do we're, the uh, grunt work people <laughs> we're you know we're kind of uh, fly, doing the I mean you're flying too with me to uh, we're going up to Tennessee oh, yeah. to a Halloween party. I mean this you're traveling month. more than me, but yeah, and uh, the weekend of the 28th we are actually flying up to Tennessee to Craig and Daisy's house. Some friends of ours, yeah. And um, actually Daisy and Craig have been on the show before. Yeah, really because they own a small business, um, Skin Tensional. Yeah. Beauty spa there in Knoxville, Tennessee. Yes, we actually, I traveled up there for the grand opening and um, have had a facial, like a, Daisy does the facials that are like very intense, like they're meant to repair your skin, you know, anti-aging, stuff like that. So um, really like high end salon up there. So definitely check her episode out if you mm-hmm. haven't heard it, but we're going to be there partying for Halloween. Right. So we're that changing was, uh, it up this year. That will, before we go on, that was episode 142. If you wanted to listen Man, to that interview and learn you about them. Quick. You were quick. So we're excited for that. Um, so that'll be the traveling I do. And then you're traveling to Las Vegas again in November before we leave. That's right. In December, at the end of do, November for North Carolina. Do you want to tell people what we're going to be for Halloween? Because I know a lot of you are excited for what we do. We're no. not, we're not going, we're going to highly disappoint you this year. If yeah. you think we're going to we're, do We're some. being super simple this year because we are traveling and we yeah. need it to just be able to go in our bag, but it's a fun, co- it's funny. It's, it's funny. It's, it's enough- a fun party costume. Okay. Okay. That's why I, I thought don't maybe tell anybody. just tell They them. can look at the picture. Sure. Sure. Okay. But yeah, we, so we, we have are to give them, you know, like little something, some teasers. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Like we'll yeah. give them some teasers. We'll post our little pictures like we do. Sure. And I mean, it's going to be fun, but it's, it's going to be a blast. It's it, just going to be, you know, a different environment than we're normally in. It'll be a smaller group of people, but, you know, we'll have a great, we're going to have a great time. And if you know us and you know how we normally are on Halloween, we'd have to bring three extra suitcases on the airplane just to get all the gear. And I don't know if they let all that makeup on the right, plane. T- tons of stuff. <laughs> and we, we don't want to fly out. And then, I mean, let's be honest, it takes us five hours to get ready. We're not going to have that kind of time. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. we will delay that until we get settled in next year, but still looking forward to that party for sure. And I do want to give a shout out to our local little pets store here in Eustis, Paws and Effects, because our dog is staying very entertained right now with her very stinky bully stick that she has. Yeah. You know, those are made of beef pizzle. Do you know what beef pizzle is? Look it up, people. We don't you, even want to you, say I'm it I'm not even going to say it. You might have kids listening. <laughs> Let's say they use every part of the 
<laughs> the cow or the bull. Okay. That's right. <laughs> but it might rhyme with. She is being. Weenus. <laughs> <laughs> she is being very good right now. So shout out to them. They are a small business here. They do grooming. They have all sorts of little cute little trinkets and goodies for the pets there and a lot of natural stuff as well. We yeah. just got some stuff like anti-itch stuff for her that actually works pretty good. Like she's got some bug bites, like mosquito bites, and we put this stuff on her and it's like anti-microbial and it stops her itch for a little while. So that's right. Look at her sitting in your lap. I know. And you're sitting on the couch and the dogs, the dogs, dogs, dogs. The dogs in her lap. Well, anyway. Speaking of dogs, we are going to get her a puppy when we move to North Carolina. Yeah, we told you guys that I think in the last yeah. one, but we've been talking about the name. And you know, it's funny is I just said Junior to be sarcastic because. I think I was called that once in a while. It's kind of a country name. And Angie goes, oh, I kind of like that. I'm I, like, no, <laughs> no. I like that. And the other name that I like better, though, is Spuds. Spuds McKenzie. It's, you know who's going to get that? People like you and me. I, I mentioned know. that at the dog park, and the young people are like, well, what's Spuds McKenzie? Yeah, but it don't matter. It's <laughs> That's the whole idea is that it's something that we recognize. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? It sounds cute together. You know? I think so, it too. sounds good together, I don't know if I, I love the know. name. I don't know. I though. have to meet the dog first and decide what its name's going to be. We didn't do that last time? Because we had time? her name picked out, yeah. and it, it didn't fit. You know, just calling her Mac didn't fit. So, so anyway, yeah, we will, um, we will pick that. Uh, but we did have to do some rain checks on some of the interviews that we had set up just because of your travel. Because I bailed at your, the last minute. Sorry. Your travel t between Miami and Canada. So, But we we are having um, those guests on in the next couple of weeks. So that's going to be Eden Abbey and um, Back Porch Pizza, also Pisces Rising, because it's the same owners. <gasps> Daniel didn't turn his sound off on well, his computer. In my defense, I need the sound on on the computer so I can make sure it's picking up our mic. But yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> here's what's funny is we edited the notes and my computer announced that we edited the notes. Oh my gosh. That's what that was. That was hilarious. Yeah. Anyway, I wanted to let everybody know too, that our Airbnb is getting really great reviews. I'm like kind of flying high a little bit from the reviews that we're getting. Um, the current guests that just stayed in there. They just love the smart home stuff and just said that that it's the nicest Airbnb they ever stayed in. Yeah, and they said they've stayed in a lot of them. Yeah, and they yeah. said it's because it felt homey. It felt like they were at home. Like they, She even mentioned that the kitchen was like there's nothing that they needed in the kitchen. Oh, I like love that. Like everything was all you. fully stocked. And so it makes me feel good. I changed a few things up in there just to make it, you know, make cleaning and stuff like that a little simpler. But I have been getting really great feedback. Um, our guests that stayed for two months, they said they felt more at home. That's why they stayed there was because they felt so at home in our at our place. And I love that, that just made me feel really good. That's all you. That and is I thought I was going to get super host, but I miscalculated my thing. But I, I am going to get it next time. Dang it. Yeah, I, so I'm going to get it. So close. But, but uh, you know, all that, that stuff about how homey it is and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if part of it's the energy in there just from us being there, but also just the way you decorated it and the way it's all been set up. The, yeah, I, the smart home stuff is, uh, I'll take that credit for that, yeah. but I don't know if that contributes to a homey feel. I don't think so. Well, we got some great feedback from the guests that were just there, so we're going to implement those things and see if it kind of gets people interacting with that a little more. I know, I, I love that. I love that people give us, something you know. something different that a lot of homes don't have, so yeah, I think it it. But I love that they're comfortable saying, hey, you know, you, we love Loved it, but try this would have made it because I think one of the things that Angie's talking about is people don't know what to say to Siri, and I don't want to say the hey word right now because it'll yeah. wake up ours, but they like it, but they don't know what to say, yeah. and, the, and you kind of just have to experiment. So Angie talked about maybe putting some little plaques up that say "try saying." Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, I'm gonna do some little frames. Like, yeah, in each that'll of the rooms be super that cool. Just kind of give you some ideas, and then I think once you have a few ideas, then you can kind of have fun with it or whatever. Yeah, and some of it's like super useful, like set a timer. Or... You can play music in our house. You can just do yeah. all sorts of turn the TVs on. I mean, there's so yeah, much yeah. that you can do. Check the weather. You can yeah. you can set a timer. You can ask it how close. How, what's traffic like from here to Disney World right now? That kind of stuff. I mean, it would be great if we could meet somebody. He Hello, people out there. Um, that has like a pod a techie podcast and go on to talk about the smart home on the podcast. Uh, that would be super fun. I've had people tell me, in fact, I had Jennifer Fox tell me once, she actually told me today also that uh, 
I should do a side gig with those logos for the, um, we'll get to that for the binds and brew thing, but the side gig was setting up smart homes. Um, yeah. and, and I don't know that I'm going to do that, but I love to tell people how, you know, what to get and how it works. And hey, how to you charge do it. a nominal fee and you get to have fun helping them build a smart home. Yeah, I think yeah. that would be fun for you actually. I think it would be. Yeah. So, um, if speaking, I could squeeze it in time speaking of binds and brews, let's, um, go ahead and remind everybody to put that on your calendar because October 21st is not too far away. And that is the day of the third annual binds and brews. That's right. Home brewing craft beer event. That's going to be so awesome. They're going to have 18 or 19 brewers there. Um, if you're not familiar, you haven't heard us talk about this before. This is free entry. This is free beer tasting all the way around. You get to be part of the judging. They're going to have Knuckleheads Barbecue there. They've got a tie-dye t-shirt vendor there with some really cool t-shirts. Empire Pickles will be there. Yeah, it's just a really cool event, the third year running. Angie and I will be the guest MCs, so we'll be doing some announcing and some chatting in between all the stuff there. We'll also be going around doing the beer tasting. and uh, Uh, Yes, we will. Oh, we'll and, be listening to live music oh, there. Oh, yeah. So fun. Yeah. Yeah, so. There's, they're going to have an artist there uh, playing live music, too, and uh, just, just all kinds of stuff. Yeah. It's going to be really fun. So 12 to 4, October 21st. So I'm going to make sure you guys mark your calendar. Come out and support a really cool local event at Dan's Childhood Home. The Fox Valley Farm and Hop Yard. It's funny. I, whenever I post about that, I, I sometimes forget to mention to my friends and the people I grew up with, this is like the house we all grew up in, you know, every time yeah. everybody used to come over. So it's really neat. If you haven't been out there since then, we would love for you to come out. The and it would be really cool to see you. they're still just gathering yeah. the community together. It's, oh, it's yeah. pretty amazing. But you know what? You know what's coming up in November? October's here, so we got Halloween coming up. Yeah. But in between, like... The end of October and beginning of November is all of our birthdays in this household. Me, you, and Mackenzie. Mackenzie is smack dab in the middle of me and you. Hers is November 4th. Yep. Mine's November uh, 11th. Oh, when is it? And Dan's is actually on the day of Bines and Brews. So please make sure you stop by our tent and say happy 50-something birthday. Happy Second, Valentine's happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day to Daniel Fox. <laughs> What's a, when? What day did you say Mackenzie's birthday is? 11-4. Yeah, so she's not in be- smack dab in the middle of ours. Yours is snack, smack dab in the middle between mine and Mackenzie's. No, 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 no. Mine is after Mackenzie's. Right. So that would make yours in the middle. No, it's not. <laughs> No, it's not. Hold on. It's mine, then Mackenzie's, then yours. That means, oh, Mc- hers is in the middle. <laughs> oh, my God. You are not cutting that out. You are not cutting that out. Okay, roll buddy. credits. You I are- thought mine was after both of yours. You I thought my birthday was somehow after November, oh So, and I haven't had anything gosh. to drink. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Is well, right. anyway. I had COVID recently, just want to say. COVID brain. We're blaming yeah. everything on COVID brain lately. Yeah. How long can you say uh, it's COVID? brain forever for the rest of your life probably anyway so after that yeah the weekend of um thanksgiving we're actually going to be packing up the apartment because the week after that we have our u-haul rented and we have to be out of here by november 30th so um yeah so it's going to be packing time i'm probably going to start doing a little packing before that nice nice i you know um I uh, I thought about just starting to organize stuff now. Even you know how you start getting kind of excited, like getting in the groove for it. Let's what can we pack now? But I think we yeah. should wait. I mean, no. I mean, I probably will actually start doing that because it, even though this apartment is small, we have what we did is so that we would we could save money on the. Um, storage fees because it was ridiculous what they were going to start charging us at storage. So we packed everything into this little tiny apartment that we could. Yeah. In every nook and cranny, in, you know, in Tupperwares, on top of the cabinets. Like, so it's, you know, there's a lot of stuff in this little space. So I feel like it's going to take time. I would like it to be very organized once we get to the next place. Yeah. Because how we worked it is to where we have our weekend together. I took... A Friday through a Friday off, basically, so that we can, when we move up there, have the whole week kind of 
I don't have to work. You don't have to work. And we can actually enjoy the first, moving yeah. in together, getting to know the area. Get, and, getting to know each other again. I thought you were going to say. <laughs> anyway, spending time in our new space together yeah. and, you know, working as a team, because let's face it, the last time when we moved here, it was all Dan and she wasn't really here doing anything. That's pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. I love having the puppy around, but I am going to enjoy having you around at the same time. Obviously to see you, but, but yeah. both of us taking care of the dog during the day will be nice. Yeah. And a shout out to my company 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 a company a company that i work for i'm very comfy there oh that's what gosh. it is my, anyway i will thanks actually, a lot guys we'll see you next yeah. episode anyway i um will be doing some working from home like back-end stuff probably more of like a part-time position but still i get to stay with the company how cool is that and get to work from home and so it'll and, you know, of course, me and Kim talked about, you know, how much is an airline flight to come down and watch the puppies? <laughs> it's not very expensive, to no, be honest. No, it's not at it's all. It's not very expensive, yeah. You know, it's not at all. So um, those puppies love me. So I uh, will probably still be their pet sitter. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I think so, too. Well, that's I think that's the bulk of what we wanted to cover. We still are come, going to be coming to the Naughty Lobster. I know they listen to the show. So, guys, we are very excited to come out still. We rain-checked that. Uh, because, uh, we got COVID. Is that when that happened? Uh, I wonder, have we even had a show since then? So we stayed at Fox Valley Farm and Hop Yard. They have an Airbnb on the property there. Yep, yep. A cool little retro sleeps too. We talked about that in our last Did we? one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep, that was our last All one. Right, so, uh, okay. And we talked about how we got sick, how I had gotten sick. I don't know if we talked about the fact that that turned out to be COVID yeah. and it you know, knocked, well, it, knocked yeah. you out of work for a week. And then halfway after I was kayaking, I started feeling like crap. Yep. And yeah, it, it was, yeah. And then I, can't I had remember, to take though, a week off of work and, oh, uh, yeah, just I a nightmare. I can't remember. I'd have to go back and look at the episode, but I can't remember if we, if you did your test before or after the episode. But yeah, so we were going to go to the Naughty Lobster that Saturday night. Yeah. For our date night, I'm and we didn't make it. Glad we didn't it. spread that love. Me too. Me too. <laughs> but we are excited to come back to the Naughty Lobster. So I am just keeping that on my little list of things mm -hmm. to do because uh, I don't want to miss out on that meal for yeah. sure. Yeah, it's on, it's on our list of things to do for sure. I did have a day where um, I went over to the Apopka area because I was cleaning the Airbnb, and I. Um, I got some cool pictures of that artwork in downtown. Oh, those Apopka. murals, those are amazing. Because I really want to do like a whole blurb about all the things to do in a pop, and I just haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah, I mean, we have like our restaurants and stuff like that, but I want to take like a picture of Kitland Nelson Park and the amphitheater and all that. Yeah. So I just got to have a day where I just go out and do it. Well, I just got to go. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like something to go do. I haven't really I take had a chance pictures. to. Of course you do. I haven't had a chance to see the uh, the uh, all the murals they've done up there. And if you haven't seen it, listener, the uh, they're really cool. I mean, these are like uh, not what you would expect to see, like an old school Popka. Uh -uh. They're done really, really well. It looks very professional oh, so, to me. Different yeah, art so styles, beautiful and yeah. colorful, and just it's a nice little um, artsy touch to that area. I know. I down love there it. By like, it's like the main little strip. And downtown Apopka, you know, the main little drag there by 441 and Park Avenue. That, that looks yeah. So You know, I'd love to get my drone out there and get a little video clip of the town before we leave. That would be a really yeah, nice thing to have like cool. a little town reel of Apopka. Yeah, hopefully you can. Yeah, you mean, can, I've looked at airspace. You can. Oh, okay. You can. Okay, that would we'll be really fun. we'll definitely have to do that. That would be cool. But anyway, guys, we thank you so much for each and every week tuning in. Um, anything else we want to say? Well, I just wanted to mention that I am doing drone work for free right now. So if you have an event, a wedding, survey work, real estate, I can do photos, videos. I'll do all the editing, color grading if you need it. Free, free, free. So I am building my I portfolio. You added that in there. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it's typically there's something that costs at least 500 bucks for all the editing and stuff. So, I am working to grow my portfolio. So just want to mention that again. Although I will be moving, um, I will still mm -hmm. be here for a while. So I will be uh, be doing that work. And I am looking forward to building my portfolio and getting some drone work here and there. So I just want to make that plug real quick before I 
That's a good out. plug, Flying Fox Shots. Yes, I'll put a link in the show notes to it. Yep. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. We hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. We know this show was a little bit late, but it still came out on Monday, and that's all that matters, baby. It, it did if I get my butt in order as soon as we're done here. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm going to go cook some dinner and sit down and relax for the rest of the evening, and we hope you have a great night, too. And remember, at the end of each and every day, it's, it's all fine and dandy. dandy.